satellite orbiting our home planet Earth. It is also our closest non-Terran celestial body for us to land and crash on. But recently, our dearest moon is being torn off by the threats from no more than our home planet. Today I'll explain why our moon is suffering to these white triangles. like a new frontier to the most SFS players. Having one-sixth gravity of Earth and lacking of air pressure makes it easier to fly. Most players build their strongest rockets to reach the moon. But all of these rocket to reach moon has similarities in common. Strong propulsion systems. Fuel tank that's large enough to reach lunar orbit for lunar module. A lander, with a capable landing gear such as landing legs or wheels and a strong material to withstand the Earth's magnetic radiation focused on the Van Allen radiation belt, which is a zone of energetic charged particles, most of which originate from the solar wind, that are captured by held around planet by the planet's magnetosphere. Earth has two subbelts, and sometimes are being temporarily. The belt are named after James Van Allen, who is credited to the observatory, such as the Earth, No, it doesn't exist on spaceflight simulator low. Knowing these simple requirements, heading to the moon won't be a difficult task for the spaceflight simulator players. But what's important is the rocket's diversity. Because every lunar rocket can't be the same. Let's see some of the examples. Time to display some checklists. This one simple rocket with boosters. With three of the time engines. This'll be a check for the strong propulsion system. The lunar module's fuel tank looks big enough, which is another check for the fuel capacity. But, they forgot to add a lander. It has no landing legs. So here's a no for the capable landing gear. Next. This one is similar to the last rocket, it has a little too cursed amount of boosters. But unlike the last rocket, it actually has a landing gear which means it can definitely land on the moon. Best now that's a lot of landers. But doesn't really think it can even reach the Earth orbit. You're disqualified. What? Uh. Since when? Okay, I guess that makes sense. This guy built Saturn V. This is what most people build to get to the moon. You guys know the result. <laughs> and that's the scuffed Saturn V load. <laughs> so we've seen the examples of the definitely legal rockets. Now it's time to build our own rocket to the moon. To build a cost-efficient rocket, almost everything should be reusable. For example, Falcon 9 has a landing legs and a grid fins to direct the rocket back to the landing zone. Now we're gonna do just that. We'll have two reusable boosters. For the core stage, it should be strong a Saturn V rocket which has five engines. Since we have two at our boosters, we'll build only three. Now time to add a reusability. And there'll be a reusable core stage with three engines. The third stage will be capable of both translunar injection and landing. And we're all set. Both safety and reliabilities are guaranteed on this rocket. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be heading to the moon now. D1 Discovery Startup Sequence Initiated. Start the countdown to launching T-5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Liftoff is confirmed in the past year. What most people do after making a parking orbit is launching towards to the moon. Discovery is at max Q. Many moon rockets' diversities often are distinguishable. It won't be just us launching a rocket to the moon right now. As I speak, there is another rocket that seems to be built for going to the moon. Let's have a look at their rocket's name. Its name is definitely not a new. Okay. Look, it just separated in its first stage. Missile to the moon, we have to stop it.